This is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. And today is January, February, March 23rd, 2019. And the topic of discussion for today is censorship, privacy, and surveillance. Open discussion. When it's an open discussion, we're going to talk about anything you guys want, but the main theme sort of being censorship, privacy, and surveillance. And as before, we're going to give everyone a little bit of time to roll in. But for those of you watching on another platform after this has been loaded on uh, after the live stream, uh, this is a topic, uh, privacy, big data, censorship, surveillance. Uh, this is sort of a topic that was one of the catalysts that really... Put me on the blogosphere to a certain degree. It was if one of the things that really pushed me towards wanting to share information, writing articles, and slowly, I guess, making videos, editing videos, and loading those on, and kicking into mathematics and whatnot, right? And just to let you know how important this topic is to me, when I first started blogging back in 2006, prepping for it in 2005, and releasing stuff in 2000. And Six, I wrote an article called one of the first articles I ever wrote. Okay, was called Anomalies, Prisons, and Geophysics How Governments Use Data and How to Stop Them. And that was basically my understanding of what was going to happen with big data coming from a geophysics background, right? Because we processed, I usually, you know, when you do geophysics, you process a lot of data, so I know what you can do with data, right? And the article here, let me pop this up for you. Uh, again, it's called Anomalies, Prisons, and Geophysics, How Governments Use Data and How to Stop Them. And I first posted this on my initial blog site that I had for a couple of years and then reposted it again on another uh, website that I had. And I reposted it again, one of the first things I uploaded again when I went to Blogspot. And in 2016, I also did a soft-spoken ASMR reading of that piece as well. And that piece still holds out to this day. And it's sort of more, become more, uh, the concept has become more dominant in our society of what's really going on with big data and how surveillance, privacy, and censorship is really taking, taking uh, sort of playing now in our world, okay? Uh, that's my little intro. What we're going to do is wait uh, for people to roll in and people are st slowly starting to roll in. Um, hi, Spider. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho. I'm so happy to be here. Me too. <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. Hey, brother. What's going on? Due to my headache, I am gladly here, even though normally I would be doing uh, astrophysics homework. Cool, cool. Oh, Marco, I remember. Um, are you the one that rec uh uh, requested an astrophysics live stream glad to be here man glad to have you man the astrophysics i would love to talk about really uh, at some point we do because i studied a little bit of it in geophysics uh, when i studied geophysics at university and i really got into astronomy in high school i bought my first telescope when i was in high school it wasn't that grand yeah that's me oh, awesome awesome marco you're studying astrophysics there eh? your mathematics is powerful <laughs> the, the the mathematics required to do astronomy and astrophysics and uh, some of the more uh, mathematics uh heavy uh physics uh physics degrees or physics disciplines uh they're quite beautiful, actually. Uh, basically, the approximations, the formulas that we've come up with to do approximations of how the universe is rolling out. Big numbers, man. Big numbers, big numbers. There's a lot of data processing in astrophysics. Tremendous over an extended period of time. Muller Report, thoughts. Uh, I haven't read the Muller Report. I read some of the high... Uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, uh, titles and first paragraphs like uh, of articles and stuff and videos. But I really haven't followed it because I wasn't expecting for there to be anything. It was just a, I don't know what the acronym is, a cat chasing the tail or dog chasing the tail. Or it was basically a 
diversion from everything else that's going on around people anybody that actually still after two years was still on a mindset that <laughs> there's anything uh, substantial to what corporate mainstream propaganda is spewing uh, needs a serious reevaluation of what is important in their lives and what is going on in the world and one of the most important things that's going on in the world is what's happening regarding the title of this live stream that we have right now which is censorship privacy and surveillance this should be on the front pages of every newspaper and every uh, news channel if there were truly news channels so i really don't have any thoughts on the Mueller report it's just garbage it's it was leading people it was a diversion that's it nothing burger nothing burger it wasn't even a burger burger hamburgers are delicious you get fries with them and <laughs> salad <laughs> like dipping sauces right you get bacon and mushrooms and onions and, like nothing burger free i guess it just means you get two buns but sometimes you can get burgers that have delicious buns right this was a waste of uh, lots of money uh, and fooled people geophysics is great too astro has always been amazing for me i study at uft 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 where's uft florida i don't know where uft is uh can't be t ut or no I, I don't know where uft is where is uft marco so it can, i'm assuming it could be florida so it can be stressful times yeah no kidding geophysics is fun too for sure geophysics is super fun i love the geophysics world because we took mathematics learned physics behind or the mathematics behind the physics university of toronto oh uft you uh uft ut yeah university of toronto of course i was gonna say toronto but then the f was throwing me off right uh university of toronto toronto amazing city very 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 fun city great nightlife lots of things going on but uh, just regards to geophysics just to finish it off we took we learned the mathematics learn the mathematics behind the physics and then you use instruments that depend on the physics and use the mathematics to do exactly what you're doing and then you take the data into software process the data and write reports based on it so it completed the loop that's one of the reasons i really like geophysics should people be censored for spreading misinformation uh, difference between intentional and unintentional no this shouldn't be censored i don't think anyone should be censored i think whoever that wants to spread whatever it is that they want to spread let them spread it right however okay that means you have to have the platforms completely wide open okay so you can have parties that can dispute debate the people that are spreading misinformation we don't have that right now right now we have corporate mainstream propaganda which is cnn abc fox uh the young turks all all these people even the young turks okay misinformation disinformation galore they have the platforms right but because there's censorship happening there is no secondary tertiary different ways of thought of challenging the same uh, thing i'm going to take this thing down this thing up here that's the article that i was referring to if you guys have rolled in later article that i wrote back in 2006 regarding big data what was going to happen with uh, surveillance and stuff and in 2016 i did a soft-spoken reading of that article as well okay it's it's an it's very important and it's going to become more and more important like right now uh, I'm going to take this down. Right now, we have Australia and New Zealand censoring hardcore. We UK has been censoring hardcore. Uh, Egypt has just started censoring hardcore, banning or basically saying that anyone with 5,000 followers or more spreads anything that is not approved by the corporate uh, or the dictatorial or the government, centralized government, whatever, however way you want to look at it, 
by the central power, right? So anyone with 5,000 followers, right? That would include my channel on YouTube that spreads anything that the Egyptian government doesn't approve of can be thrown in jail. Right? Wow, wow, wow. Livia, how are you doing? Thanks for giving me that munchies, Chicho. You're welcome. Gentle. Oh, yeah, my food too. Let me show you what I got here. I got oranges, like little tangerines, just a little bit of fruit, right? Summer's kicking in, spring's kicking in. So during spring and summertime, I eat a ton of fruit. And I have, uh, this looks like the Persian black tea, but it's not. It's Tulsi rose tea. So Tulsi is, uh, I had to look this up actually. It's Egypt, um, Indian basil, I believe. So it's basil and rose hips, dried rose hips. It's fantastic tart. Livia's in the house. Greetings from the East Coast. Greetings, greetings. I really love Astro because of its highly mathematical structure. Yeah, the mathematics blew me away uh, when I was studying it. As geophysics, we had to study a little bit of astronomy. Uh, and I had a choice to make astronomy or geophysics and geophysics is to a certain degree astronomy as well but I went through more um, applied geophysics and where I could get into environmental stuff difference between spreading misinformation and manipulation um, it's basically the same thing right however what we have happening right now is corporate centralized government propaganda like the Mueller report right it's complete garbage but just manpower wise not only the manpower required to pursue this lie that everyone knew was a lie right everyone knew it was garbage right to pursue this not including everyone that worked on it just imagine the manpower man hours productive hours for not the world but just the united states how many i can't even imagine what it would be millions tens of millions of hours of wasted human lives that actually followed this garbage right because there's tens of millions of people not only in the united states but in canada as well not tens of millions in canada we don't have that population right we're one uh, one tenth the population in the united states but millions of people in canada would talk about it like i had friends that talked about it i'm like are you guys crazy this is what you're focused on like this is what you're spending your time thinking about what <laughs> like, it's crazy uh and uh, sorry the difference between it an individual can should be able to say do anything they want right corporations because they are selling products right because they are producing products that could be harmful to the population there needs to be certain amount of uh, accountability there there needs to be certain amount of accountability for individuals as well but we're not talking about huge extreme situations where someone comes on and says Like really, my my propaganda level is on the National Enquirer level, right? Someone comes on and says, "I met Elvis's son that came from Elvis and a chipmunk breeding or something." Like, like, do we have to censor on that level? Because some people might believe it. There are millions of people that buy those kinds of magazines and read this garbage, right? Maybe they treat it as entertainment, right? Why censor? because because the education system is so poor in a country people are afraid that their citizens are so misguided uneducated that they will fall for every trap or is the centralized power in the business of manipulating and controlling the population to do its bidding okay. sorry i'm going off on this a little bit but uh, I just want to nick the censorship uh, thing right off the bat. I consider censorship to be the same level as prohibition, right? Prohibition is basically 
um, you can think about it a centralized power forbidding individuals from acquiring information right because experience as well is considered information you're collecting data very personal data right so prohibition and censorship i look at at the same light and those come about because centralized power are forbidding the population from acquiring certain types of information that is insane to me hello saint just just germany i missed a couple of posts i'm going to read those when i worked in the pharmaceutical industry part-time i met some big people that taught me lesson about the medical industry i'm telling you brother biggest industry corruption in society i agree marco i know a little bit about it it's horrendous right the the pharmaceutical industry the medical industry just the whole healthcare industry is trillion dollar market trillions of dollars of market in the world right hundreds of billions just within canada united states alone okay that is built on lies and manipulation and false information false data right just just on the science level just imagine scientists universities they get funding to do research and then when they publish their research a lot of that research has to go through secondary places like scientific magazines right that filter out what they don't want disseminated and they only present data information that they've they deem to be valid right now if that magazine institution is has been infiltrated is corrupt has been paid off then certain types of information are never reaching the public this is information that has been tax payer funded right the data is not available not only that a lot of those magazines and stuff they get paid by corporations to publish their reports right so a lot of scientific papers and stuff that we read is corporate propaganda as well and a huge percentage of it. we're not talking about one or two percent we're talking 50 plus percent right is garbage is lies okay that's the reason aaron schwartz got in hot water he went and downloaded a whole bunch of if, if I, my memory serves me right downloaded a whole bunch of scientific pa papers that were that were taxpayer funded and release them right because to have access to these reports to this data you actually have to pay these organizations per report to have access to them it's a control mechanism okay it's censorship on a grand scale ah oh, i meant that as a response to uh spaceman i don't think that government or media aren't trying to spread misinformation as much as manipulate the public uh, fox yeah for sure okay thanks uh uh, odd Nick I gotta read the sometimes the colors are the same and then I get confused odd Nick. another lesson I've learned powerful people get powerful medication the middle class and poor levels of our society get 60% of medication at least in my opinion X how are you doing uh, just taking it to a uh, little bit of uh, extreme on that front uh, Marco what Marco just stated a lot of the pharmaceutical companies have been caught using vaccines in poor countries in the global south in Africa specifically that were tainted by certain diseases okay and they were spreading those diseases or vaccines vaccines that didn't work in the global south in certain countries so first world countries if a certain vaccine that they created was denied they would take that vaccine it was it was deemed to be tainted harmful to the society the pharmaceutical companies would take those vaccines and use them in the global south in africa in south america okay in poorer countries making those people there even sicker right pharmaceutical companies are one of the most horrendous institutions in the world on the same level as weapons manufacturers and oil companies uh, specific examples 
Barclays index wants. For example, celebrities like Betty White might have access to a cure for cancer, while your average student, just like myself, get the minimum. Possibly Marco. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the <laughs> Steve Jobs sure didn't <laughs> cash in on that opportunity if he had it. My immediate uh, thought on privacy surveillance is uh, uh, GDPR, that's uh, North Korea, I believe. That had a huge impact on my company. Oh, was GDPR North Korea or was that East Germany? Because we deal with a lot of uh, uh, personal data. I think it was a step in the right direction, but we need something stronger and specifically oh no gd uh, pr that's the uh, case man isn't that the code general data that's right general data thanks i was about to search it uh, that's the general data protection regulation in the eu okay i i get i'm a little apprehensive anything that the eu passes right I agree with certain aspects of things and I disagree with a huge portion of what they are doing as well uh, like in some of the stuff uh, are you talking about the bear fiasco uh, the, the gentle chaos uh, bear has done it uh, Merck uh, no is it Merck Merck has done it uh, Johnson and Johnson has done it last I looked into this was a few years ago but most of the top pharmaceutical companies have black spots on them where they took tainted drugs and used them in the global south okay i'm not 100 percent sure about this fact but when i educated myself in the supplement industry i learned quite a bit the eu absolutely has a lot of problematic aspects is very anti-democracy but even a broken clock yeah that's the best uh, best case uh, uh, best uh, explanation case man thank you for that even a blow broken clock is right twi twice a day in a 24-hour period yeah I can't give you a complete complete fact sorry I don't work in this in in this industry but I'm trying to educate myself just Marco uh, just backing up Marco and I don't know if there's I don't Marco I don't agree with you that there's a cure for cancer for rich people um, because I don't think cancer is one unique thing right cancer has multiple different types of mutations and forms and causes and all this jazz right so I don't necessarily agree that there is for rich people rich people have cure for cancer or they don't and whatnot but I'll give you uh, some ammunition right um, to use for anyone that defends the pharmaceutical industry or the medical industry or centralized governments that try to regulate controls people's ability to consume certain products if they believe that certain products are good for their health or whatnot right prohibition of cannabis okay I bring this up with anyone who defends the pharmaceutical industry governments when it comes to controlling medication regulating uh, products right right now as of right now you would have to be living under a rock to not know that cannabis is anti-inflammatory good for your digestion helps you improve your appetite uh, relieves pain prevents tremors okay is a relaxant helps people sleep it goes on and on and on right now just imagine how many hundreds of millions of people and I'm not exaggerating this number right hundreds of millions of people were harmed in the last 50 years half a century even less in the last 30 years and I'm you know we're just talking in the Western world if you talk globally we're into the billions of people were harmed because they didn't have access to cannabis where a patient that was getting chemotherapy and cannabis is amazing for controlling nausea okay 
So just imagine, just I'll give you one example. You can extrapolate beyond this, right? It helps people with Crohn's, like I could go on, Crohn's, like it's incredible, right? But people getting chemotherapy, one of the, and radiation treatment, one of the most brutal side effects of that is nausea. Okay, people, they vomit and they can't hold down food. They lose their appetite. And we know cannabis helps with nausea, improves your appetite, allows you to sleep and all this jazz, right? How many millions of people in the last five decades, let's say, it goes beyond that, in the last five decades have had radiation or chemotherapy treatment where they had to control their symptoms and they're brutal and they were given pills pharmaceutical pills that had secondary side effects okay that they had to use because they didn't have access to a plant okay that is censorship that is prohibition okay we'll get off the uh, pharmaceutical bandwagon I agree there's a corruption and powerful rich people have privileges at the same time in all fields and areas there are honest people and there is no centralized place for manipulation censorship etc because even the powerful and the rich aren't always on the same page no they're not for sure uh, thanks Germany yeah I was just trying to give a modern basic example all the knowledge of the world will be shrunk down to a silicon chip that chip will get misplaced <laughs> just t thank you <laughs> Olivia is loving it it's a good thing anyone who works with information and data professionals have backups and backups of, of backups as a standard practice <laughs> yeah <laughs> so they so they say so they say uh, the, the question is not if they backed it up the question is can they recover the data and a lot of data in the world has been stored so poorly that you can't really trust a lot of that data maybe it's being i'm pretty sure nsa is pretty doing a pretty good job but i wouldn't count on it uh, professionally misinformation is a big problem it costs our economies billions of dollars from uh sources like youtube spirit science that spread pseudoscience uh cannabis helping people with nausea cannabis helping people to sleep with anxiety with tremors used to be called pseudoscience now it's fact right our culture centers around around anti-intellectualism where we laugh at our failures in mathematics instead of encouraging to try better agree on that part but I don't um, we could also uh, perps we could also make the same argument that the cost to human lives to human societies uh, both short and long term has been into the trillions because we have not allowed open discussion on many topics because I study astronomy I can't wait to dive into the topic of life beyond Earth, even though I want to become an aerospace engineer. Nice. Still, the FBI definitely hides information from the general public if they have it. But as far as Marco, I'm with you on that. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind there is sentient life, intellectual life uh, beyond our little blue does mathematically it's impossible for there not to be the war on drugs especially cannabis was never about the substances themselves but about the population that could be targeted agreed agreed the money that could be made agreed agreed and the control mechanisms put in place it's a great example of government propaganda being wielded as a weapon and mainstream media followed it to the t right all of it as bill hicks would say hey let's have an open discussion why is all the news you get from corporate mainstream media propaganda how bad drugs are where's the positive aspect right very off topic but do you watch game of thrones yeah i do spencer it's starting soon they took their sweet time with it <laughs> how interesting i feel like one can forget all the struggles in the world by just looking at the sky 
Yeah. That was one of the first places, Livia. For me, it was one of the first places I found solitude. That's one of the reasons I went into uh, geophysics and looked into astronomy. At nighttime, you just lay down and look into the sky and you see shooting stars and things going across. You can see satellites by the naked eye, right? It's just brilliant. Plants can have side effects just like pills, 100% cannabis by no means a cure-all but yes has various uses I'm all for its legalization but annoys me when people make it out to be a uh, panicky panas panasi I don't know what that means I guess that means a cure-for-all uh, everyday uh, gapsy I agree it's not a cure-for-all but literally <laughs> like not figuratively not hypothetically not any other way than actually factually it is one of the most beneficial plants on this planet like i don't know any other plant that have as many uses as hemp as cannabis i don't know of any okay i don't think anything else even comes close to what cannabis provides us ranging from food to oils to fuel to textiles to medicine like its tentacles go into every industry it is huge it is huge Livia definitely space is an interesting infinite by the way space if we're talking space if you guys aren't watching one of the best science fiction space movies uh, TV shows watch it it's called it's called the Orville okay it's got uh, Seth MacFarlane as a producer he stars in it as well it's got quirky humor okay very American sarcastic quirky human uh, humor but it tackles very important subjects in our society just the same way that the original Star Trek did okay just the same way that next generation did okay it's a great show very very fantastic character development and it's it's space travel right spaceships and stuff like this uh, very low budget CG compared to some of the other stuff is, that's out there fantastic writing highly recommend it's infinitely interesting the main discovery in astronomy is undoubtedly that space can hold anything space can hold anything there could be anything out there cool speaking of astronomy the moon is hovering around me and is looking golden and wonderful nice <laughs> it's eight hours ahead ten hours ahead yeah it's nighttime there yeah here too it was a full moon two nights ago i believe uh happy solstice everyone by the way and if you're follow the lunar calendar happy new year the persian calendar happy new year happy solstice happy spring uh it's uh i think it's going to be a grand grand spring cool are you in europe yeah, Olivia. It's teddy bear with a heart that's cute the night sky is one of life's greatest pleasures and the thing i miss the most living in urban area yeah i don't see it as often as used to where i lived when i was uh as a kid almost midnight nice my dad uh, is a botanist and highly advocates for life beyond earth there is this is why I've been instilled with this knowledge from a young age awesome Marco great uh, uh, great person to uh, to have around it's a plant that has walked a long evolutionary path with us our bodies even have an uh, endocannabinoid system yeah cool I was uh, debating coming to UK to study pretty far from Toronto though hey March 29th first first all lady spacewalk happening oh is it first all lady spacewalk that's crazy stick 2019 that's how long it took cool 
Psilocybin has also long evolutionary pathways as 100% psilocybin. Very powerful indeed. Heroic doses, heroic doses, as Terence McKenna would say, right? Uh, pharmaceutical industries, uh, botanics, space, and astronomy. Philosophers would agree. Yeah. The internet provides uh, pseudoscience with data collection on the function of millions of human brains. Therefore, the pharmaceutical industry makes experimental pills that can make certain areas of the brain hope hopefully it never kills our ability to be completely conscious and comfortable located on the prenatal lobe of our brains yeah definitely certain concerns happy solstice happy solstice we had the full moon in libya uh, in operation in opposition to an airy sun major change in relationships guys is it libya thank you for the astronomical reading <laughs> on the subject of the orville that one episode with everyone living by upboats and that was such a was a pretty interesting critique on internet call it was amazing and by the way uh just on the same topic orville had a sort of a episode where people up, are upvoting and stuff each other right it was supposed to be a complete democracy their argument was this is purely democratic if people like it they like it they upvote you if they don't like you they downvote you right and then your social standings would change and you might become a criminal and they might even execute you black mirror had a certain similar or has had certain similar types of episodes as well black mirror dark depressing what a dis dystopian society right orwell okay uh sorry uh not or yeah george orwell right the orville same concept but it was sort of happyish and light-hearted and funny but there was a darkness to it and looking from outside the box we're like oh that's scary but there was a little bit of lightness in there huxley right wow we're living in the golden age of information so even though there's censorship implemented creators and artists are able to create content which is amazing to share their perspective of what society could be like if we're not careful part of the reason cannabis has been uh, villainize is because western medicine frowns upon self-medicating of any kind any cannabis lend uh, itself well to self-medicating practices 100 percent agree index like one of the first things the pharmaceutical industries will tell you doctors will tell you if you ever take their medicine right and sometimes you have to you can't trash talk all of it right sometimes as now going back to nicholas taub says if you get severely ill you need power something to otherwise you're gonna die you need you take it right but um in regards i'm losing my train of thought but in regards to cannabis right in re being uh self-medicating one of the first things that happens if you ever start hopefully not but if you ever get ill enough that you need the pharmaceuticals right strong pharmaceuticals the first things the doctor and those people subscribing this medicine to you will tell you not to take anything else including cannabis or any other type of drug one of the reasons is because they don't know what the side effects will be the interaction between these drugs and other drugs you may be taking the other reason is they don't want their um, experiment to be tainted by other drugs that way they can't pinpoint certain uh, side effects or benefits or other illnesses that come along to this specific thing so once you agree to that type of experiment you're a guinea pig really appreciate what that means and you better do your research before going down that route off topic but i do have a uh commandy the last boy on earth number six available right now on ebay i usually only ship within the u.s but of course would make an exception for chicho <laughs> thanks <laughs> every day uh every day gatsby thank you for the for the offer uh, i have to look at the cover i might have a commandy 
number six um, I would have to look at the cover I have a lot of the early issues uh, but I don't know if I, I have it or not and people have have contacted me before uh, wanting to send me comics and I've told them that I have to get set up for it I gotta get a PO box and stuff like this um, and I hadn't yet but since I'm gonna be putting some stuff on eBay to sell uh, some of the mermaid well all of the mermaid comics that I have uh, issues of the comics that I published and some of the other stuff that I have in my collection doubles triples of right uh, that I've bought over over the years as an investment or or because I liked her or because I was a little crazy I, I went crazy on the cover I'm, oh my god I need two or three copies of this right I'm gonna start going through my collection and selling some of that stuff and because I'm going to do that the odds are I'm gonna get a PO box so thank you for the offer if it was an offer I think it was uh, but what I'll do is hit me up again and on Monday we're gonna do a comic book you know trying to list things on eBay I haven't sold anything on eBay for a while I'm gonna go on there tomorrow and figure it out and at least put one thing on eBay okay and then at least we got the thing down I'm gonna set up things for Monday you know just to show you what I have we'll take pictures and just talk comics basically even if we don't list it but I'm gonna get a PO box once I start putting the stuff on eBay so hit me up again and if the offer is still open I'll give you the PO box uh, maybe even start getting comic books coming in that people want us to do readings for uh, because that's amazing just doing the readings off the haul that we got from Nicholas I think that was we've done uploaded one yesterday right we got uh, a couple of more that we're gonna upload from that as well uh, neuroscience is crazy it is it is neuroscience is insane uh, and people uh, we're talking about pharmaceuticals and herbs and externals as well for health one of the things I we haven't talked about it I'll emphasize this and I'll just plant the seed your perspective on life your health who you are what your illness is is also very very important as well as the way you approach certain disciplines if you want to study them i.e you can build your own connections neurons the neural network you could make it stronger through meditation through the a certain way of thought okay so you don't necessarily need external stimulus to do that you can do it internally on my way to visit Canada in three days nice springtime in Canada is amazing same with well in fall too and if you like snow winter and if you like summers uh, summers <laughs> definitely one of the hardest areas to study neuroscience yeah awesome make sure you check out Toronto and Vancouver uh, depending on where you are staying yeah East Coast is amazing too Maritimes absolutely beautiful in the summertime though Maritimes in the summer is beautiful Montreal is fantastic Quebec City is amazing the prairies are beautiful beautiful it's like you're a universe within a universe oh that was regarding neuroscience I believe ASMR on moderate doses of psilocybin is a match made in heaven personally I'm not I am not too excited with NASA's discoveries personally I think SpaceX has a um, brighter future NASA was hijacked a long time ago I believe I live on Uranus China has a special credit system implemented it's called Xana semi credit it has extremely scary implications I agree Nana that's the surveillance and the privacy part kicking in right and that's going to get rolled out here as well that is rolling out in the Western world as well it rolled out in a big way just with credit cards with your personal credit right right now there's many things you cannot do if you do not have a credit card or if you have bad credit now what happens when they take that centralized take that all that data to a centralized power right centralized entity that controls everything like one of the discussions I had with a friend I you know I mentioned to them that you know they should get off Facebook or at least change their real name on Facebook and 
and their friend's name and don't talk about certain personal things on Facebook and other social media platforms and, and all that jazz, right? And they were like, well, I don't care. You know, I go there collecting everything, right? And I've had this discussion with numerous people. I mentioned, oh, they're collecting everything. Like, they know you. And Orville, just going back to Orville, they just did an episode where they simulated someone, okay, in a simulation through their phone because they had all their text and pictures and voice and everything like that, right? And with a person's data, you could recreate that person, right? You could simulate that person, okay? And the technology is available to have CG face doing it and whatnot, right? But if a centralized entity has all of your data, and in the Western world, we're basically a plutocracy, corporatocracy, corporations ruling it, right? And if the corporations have access to that data, then just taking it, since we're talking about healthcare medicine, just imagine in many parts of the world, you have to get private insurance. Even in Canada, you to a certain degree need private insurance to be covered for everything, right? But when you sign an agreement with a private insurance company, healthcare company, right? There's a small print on there saying, most of them will say, they will not cover you for any pre-existing conditions, okay? So just imagine all of your life data is held in a centralized location, right? And you sign an agreement with, for this example, being a healthcare provider, right? Where you said, you agreed that you would be not you wouldn't be covered for any pre-existing conditions and let's assume you end up falling down and throwing out your back and you're out of work and stuff like this and you need to be covered right you need to pay bills right now if that corporation has access to that centralized database and in that centralized database they have access to your healthcare information and in your healthcare information, if you have something that says, oh, when you were a teenager, when you were playing soccer or playing volleyball or playing basketball or something like this, you got hit and you threw out your back and you couldn't play for three months, four months or five months. That's a pre-existing condition. Now you're no longer covered for falling down and hurting your back. Okay. Because it can be linked to a previous injury. Okay. That is the problem with big data with centralization of power and giving all that control to entities that control every aspect of your life and you can extrapolate this to finance you can extrapolate this to trying to start a business you can extrapolate this to travel where there's travel bans in china now if you don't fit a certain credit criteria or you can't get a loan from the bank right we've seen this play out in the united states where you could have, I believe, declared bankruptcy, committed murder, and you can still get a student loan to go to school. But if you have a drug uh, crime, you've been convicted of a drug crime, could be cannabis, possession of cannabis, you're no longer allowed to get a student loan, right? This also what mammoth is mentioning uh, this also exists in Canada and the United States as well what China is implementing now it's just been under the radar for a while right it hasn't affected everyone yet it will it will there's no reason to be uh, reductive about NASA I've missed a lot of chat look at this wow 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 okay gang my apologies I'm gonna scroll down a little bit just to get caught up because I went off there for a bit right uh, da, 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 da. I'll start reading from the bottom and work my way up uh, so if there's any follows any subs and stuff thank you for the follows thank you for the subs I'll mention that again and if I missed any questions please post them again I'll catch them okay the under uneducated generally uh, ge generally population doesn't even know what's going going to Mars actually means they just hear the name and get excited this is why major companies don't expose blueprint 
plans immediately oh i missed some awesome conversation <laughs> i hope you guys caught them i'm gonna read a little bit higher up uh da -da -da, yeah i agree the mars project is amazing but i'm excited for when it becomes mainstream and somewhat affordable oh what is the mars project i missed the discussion on the mars project da -da -da -da. okay well maybe catch up later have you ever appeared on anyone else's podcast talk show um it's gentle chaos if that's a question for me i'm assuming it is i've uh, i've appeared on a podcast about three years ago four years ago where uh, we talked about education centralized education and stuff like this they reached out they wanted they wanted to talk with me and that was the first uh, uh, first podcast i've been on and that's the only podcast i've been on it was fun it was uh it was a little raw raw i guess because i it was before i did live streaming and uh it was fun just talking with them and stuff like this and the gang was uh pretty happy about it if you send me a reminder i'll find it for you i'll link it uh, i might do i have it here i don't think i have it on this computer it's on the other computer um, but if you do a chicho podcast education it might pop up i forget the, the people that are doing it and i've been interviewed regarding cryptocurrencies and the education system again uh, from a, I think two two different places one of them was a more recent place it was focused on cryptos not that we won't ever go to Mars but SpaceX has done uh, nothing to realistically make me think they have a real plan to go to Mars but hey hopefully they get there one day but now right now it's a business publicity tack layer that's because space space uh, travels is a private industry nowadays I would enforce patience and breakthroughs coming. I suppose you'll have to wait and see like the rest of us, space travel. Hey, Chicho, how are you, man? Doing great, Ryan. How are you doing? I went to outer space after that Robert Anton Wilson film, but I'm back on Earth now. <laughs> nice. That interview, the discussion, in how many hours? Seven hours? <clears throat> Fantastic talk with Robert Anton Wilson. I'm painfully undereducated, but also painfully curious. It's uh, lots of resources. Game at home, mom, to learn whatever we want to learn. A lot of learning I've done, I've done on my own. Uh, I really took to heart uh, that I'm my own best teacher, right? For most things. There are many things that I found amazing teachers for. That's a gift, brother. In the past, I was the same enjoy your bright future that is ine inevitably coming literally unlocks your mind literally unlocks your mind that interview <coughs> no problem marco about the typos i'm educated under painfully curious moms <laughs> personally as a uni student uh school sucks yeah school sucks school sucks and just regarding education uh, many people have said it uh, Feynman was one of them which is basically uh, you realize how dumb you are the more you learn you there's so much to learn so much to learn I can teach myself but a teacher can yeah for most things certain things uh, teachers are amazing Robert Anton Wilson an amazing teacher because he he takes his stories and interlocks them with personal experience and doesn't stop at the story but extrapolates that to other events and things that have happened in his life so he brings everything full circle uh, and many people have done that many people have done that that's a sign of a good teacher right I know that I know nothing Socrates yeah I'm sad you haven't met a teacher to make you change your mind on that N the majority of teachers know uh, case man there are certain amazing teachers there is no doubt about it no doubt about it uh, Bill Hicks would be one Terrence McKenna would be one 
I've had some personal ones as well, but very few ones in our education system. I couldn't, I couldn't even name five amazing teachers I've had throughout my life. I found that literature is more so teaching basis. You can learn mathematics by yourself. Yeah, you can learn math mathematics by yourself, but you have to do a lot of reading. The mathematics, Marco, I think what you what really is needed is to learn the basics of mathematics. That level of mathematics is where the problem in illiteracy in our societies in regards to mathematics uh, is really the focal point, right? That's where it starts. Because if you know the basics, then you can learn the rest. Once you know, don't know the basics, don't have a really good grasp of what functions are and what just the simple operations are, that's where everything falls apart. It's a side effect of the assembly line, nature of our schools, yeah. And as well, case man, as well as censorship. Okay. Because there's a lot of information that is forbidden to be taught in schools. <laughs> I've had hot teachers too, both male and female, just because, you know, they're one or the other doesn't mean they're any less hot just because you may not be attracted to them, right? A hot and not just physical but intellectual i've had some amazingly intellectually stimulating teachers that i would love to have spent a lot of time with really i'm grade 11 i like to think i could teach my teacher physics cool uh, in grade 11 i had a good physics teacher in grade 11 and 12 and i had great great earth science and uh, geology teacher in grade 11 and 12 my college education and all the all the debt was worth it for the incredible teachers and students I met in that experience the work was secondary oh, I'm glad you had a good experience case man the experience of university is important I agree but going into debt uh, you know people are, are going into debt for hundreds of thousands right or tens of thousands right for me I want I want I was in debt I forget what it was, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, right? This is back in the nineties. That was a lot of money, right? But I was working co-op, I was getting work experience, and I didn't work outside of my war co-op terms when I was going to school. So uh, I was able to pay that off. It wasn't a huge burden for me at the time. It's sad that the school puts us into survival at all time. I agree, Livia. Hey Chicho, just listening while I game. How have you been doing? Great, Tony. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're having a fantastic game. Kicking ass, Tony the Tiger. Yeah. What noticed uh, is that a lot of intelligent students don't even know the basic Pythagorean theorem. And I mean, that's extremely basic. Literally, step one of trigonometry. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people that don't. A lot of people that don't even know how to multiply or add fractions wow the science students anyway right yes the intellectual stuff but could we do a stream on aesthetics and the philosophy behind it aesthetics we could Livia send me a reminder we'll set something up I'll look into it I'll have to figure out what it is exactly you mean by aesthetics and the philosophy behind it I love to learn. I learn a lot from these streams. That would be fun. I think I found it. Was it on free free radical media? That's it. Gentle Chaos Game. That's the one. I can post it in the general section on Discord if you like. For sure, if you like. I'm a little rough on it. It's my first podcast live discussion anytime, right? Uh, but it was fun to do. It was fun to do. Chicho, regarding forbidden information. One of my favorite teachers at my local community college was a fantastic rebel, uh, rebel against that. He taught people how to find the things they wouldn't learn in college. Made us write a paper about all of the theories around the JFK. Awesome assassination and under the 
implica <laughs> implications around them. Fantastic. You're lucky. Very good. Very good, Case Man. I had a very good history uh, social studies teacher in high school as well for a couple of years. And I remember him talking about the JFK and assassination and the way I saw him at our 20th, 25th year anniversary from graduating high school or something, right? Or 20 year, I can't remember what it was. And I told him, hey, I remember what you did when you talked about the JFK assassination. Thank you for that because you planted the seed because he basically t told us that uh, it was, you know, the lone gunman and the, you know, Oswald shot and the bullet hit here, hit here, bounced here, bounced here. But the way he explained it, he was mocking it, right? He said the bullet went here and then went here. And then, uh, uh, he basically threw mockery. He made it obvious to the class that this was a lie, right? And that made us look into it or made me look into it further and be open to other information coming in okay so there are some amazing teachers doing some amazing work my tuition costs twelve thousand uh, dollars a year and i'm not a on resume wow that's a lot so four years that's forty eight thousand dollars that's a nice chunk of money i believe that uh intelligence is the is a physical application and manifestation of the facts we learn and critically analyze into the real world. That's a good way of putting it. I'm going to read that again, uh, Olivia. I believe that intelligence is the physical application and manifestation of the facts we learn and critically analyze into the real world. I like it. I can talk music aesthetics. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome i love it and thanks for hardcore so good so good i can talk music business it's bad oh music business is bad but as someone who consumes music wow golden age of music right now so much amazing stuff that we have access to so much Marco agreed all the way to the definition of intelligence. Awesome. Aesthetics is a major topic in philosophy, is it? What I don't like about uni is the crowdiness of it. Yeah. And that's um, that's by design, as far as I'm concerned, through centralized power, right? They need to be able to control the masses, the herds. And there's a lot of experiments being conducted on the herd mob mentality within universities and what that's going to entail in regards to big data and how you can manipulate those masses to do your bidding. Never better, better time to consume music. Absolutely, absolutely. What's your per, uh, preferred type of music, brother? Oh, I listen to the main three types of music I listen to uh, metal hip-hop and electronic okay uh, electronic I'm all over the place uh, I, I like a lot of it okay hip-hop I like my political hip-hop I like my uh, social analysis uh, when they embed that and that's that and political go hand in hand in large part okay i like lyricists for sure like black alicious is amazing dropping it i love the rhythmic aspect of it right so those are the three genres i listen to mainly i feel like uh, uniqueness and in individual individuality becomes a paradox in crowds yeah yeah unfortunately in the western world in canada the united states they try to they and they've been very successful at it trying to associate people's uniqueness by what they consume the labels they wear right so and i was prey to that when i was a kid right coke or pepsi oh you like pepsi oh, oh you like coke oh, yeah 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 right coke or pepsi right that's the my my example i use with that right 
So here, people are being brainwashed from a very young age to associate their uniqueness to what products they consume. Once you break that, an interview with Robert Anton Wilson will help people break that. Once you're able to break out of that, wow, right? Wow, what an amazing world we live in. Yeah, same here. For one of my classes, I had one lecture with 10,000 people in it. Really? No, Marco. 10,000? That's like an auditorium. That's like a hockey ring or something. How nice <laughs> Olivia says. <laughs> hey, Chicho. Corridor girl. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Do you have thoughts on copyright, copy left, and creative commons for bodies of creative work? Uh, I'm full on creative commons. Okay. I'm not sure what copy left is. Uh, I totally anti against copyright and patents. I think those have been uh, the chains that bind our society and our creative outlet and innovation. 100% uh, against the copyright laws that we have right now copyright laws back 100 years or 80 years ago which were like seven years plus another seven years or whatever it was maybe okay but for me creative commons all the way share and share like just give credit to where you're using the material from right and don't use it for commercial purposes if someone's creating a product and sharing as creative commons don't package that product and sell that product without talking to the people who created it to say hey listen I want to do this can i do this getting permission and giving them a cut right have you ever heard the song mathematics oh yeah for sure i cut mathematics uh, marco uh, mathematics by most deaf okay that was on black black on both sides black i forget what it was called but i took that song and edited that song da -da 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 -da, mathematics da -da edit that song in one of the videos one of the first videos i put out back in 2007 2008 i think it was for the uh the, the, the real number set possibly or on that big wall where i cut most steps music into the math video we're doing urban graffiti style math on the walls for sure most stuff is fantastic if you travel back in time to a past era where would you go um, you know top fiber I, I don't think I would go anywhere I like the present it's exciting for me I, I don't want to go past live at a time where we didn't have internet I love Conan the Barbarian so if I could if I could kick it with Conan <laughs> it was real and i would be guaranteed that i'm not going to get dismembered and die or die of a disease or be eaten by animals <laughs> or any or be was zapped by wizards and flayed alive by witches i'd go kick it with conan and go do a couple of campaigns and but i wouldn't right the present is amazing have you ever heard the song that yeah great rap for kids nowadays much better than mumble rap and as a 21 year old with a girl i know a lot about bad music yeah there's a lot of bad music out there wow copy left that's just, copy left is a general method for making a program or other work free in the sense of freedom not not zero price okay freedom do what you will and requiring all modified and extended versions of the program to be free as well the simplest way uh, so uh, open source software uh, way to make a program free software is uh, to put it in the public domain uncopyrighted okay yeah then copy left is uh, stallman you're talking about small stallman and unix and uh, linux and stuff okay yeah for sure 100 percent. if i was a coder that's exactly what i would be doing right if i was pro producing code 100 percent. i would only use I, I don't know you know I'm talking without uh, having worked in the industry right but I'm hoping that if I was a coder I could only I would have the option to only use copyrighted uh, um, 
uh, free software as in freedom to use software as long as it's being attributed to previous versions right yeah I'm all for it people switch from being individuals to being uh, hive minded in groups the book the righteous mind by Jonathan had it has some really interesting theories on that worth a read though I don't agree with some of its conclusions thank you for the recommendation case man for real brother University of Toronto has some crazy big lecture halls Wow sure you're not exaggerating 10,000 is one in one class University of Toronto has 90,000 students index nice in the pre present time we have the wonderful opportunity to compare we do how come we can remember the past but not the future um, some people say they do remember the future right uh, especially some people who have experimented with entheogens is really tart and sweet at the same time very delicious really Bion binomia oh, oh. I'm gonna try to pronounce your name I don't know where the <laughs> breaks are where to look bin I hope I, it's okay to call you bin if it's not please correct me thank you for the twitch prime subscription Arnold Sch for real Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> impression of what? I missed something how did Arnold Schwarzenegger come into play maybe a little bit but physics is a big branch of University of Toronto it was around that number though yeah I'm assuming every, everybody has to take first year physics so in science anyway I believe everyone does even I don't know if chemistry does biology probably it was a couple of years ago so I could have forgotten what is an entheogen entheogen is basically uh, plants that occur in nature that people use to alter the state of uh, understanding to manipulate time to break out of their ego to have a better connection to nature entheogens you can consider some of the herbs some of the power plants that shaman use traditionally to guide their tribes uh, basically that's it right taco hello how are you doing welcome to another live stream we're having fun censorship privacy and surveillance but we're going all over the place we've talked astronomy and space travel and pharmaceutical he did a movie on Cohen. oh Arnold Schwarzenegger that's right that's where he comes from and that was a fantastic movie by the way the first Conan movie Arnold Schwarzenegger fantastic movie very happy he didn't talk very much in that movie right I, I think intentionally they uh, they because his accent was so strong they didn't give give him many lines to talk he had to get a speech therapist to learn how to pronounce the words properly and stuff like this and Conan there's a period for Conan he doesn't speak very much right he just does he's a he's a man of action fantastic movie Conan the Barbarian very good loved it for sure lots of love for twitch prime sub thank you uh, sounds like people are doing well uh, taco I just finished my work which means another billboard chat has been created <laughs> a lot of that top 10 is trap mumble rap uh, the kids love it and the kids are all right case man I don't know if I even listen to any of the top rappers right now yeah 
I was crazy a few years back. A group of students at U University of Toronto ran around with carcinogenic products. Once again, university is a weird place. I really have no idea how to feel about the present music. There's got to be some, like the Billboard, the charts, top ten charts. Like really, I don't know what's on there. But during my time, the top tens were usually things that we weren't listening to. Best actor Sylvester Sloan has done. <laughs> He's done a couple of great movies. He's done some great movies. He did one where he was the head of the union. He was just a worker and he became a head of a union. And that was a really good movie. I forget what it was called. I liked it. Well, also on the top 10 lately has been Queen. I think everyone can get on board with Queen. But do they deserve to be on the top 10 again? Is it new stuff they're releasing? Or is it the soundtrack related to the, what do you call it, the movie that came out, right? So I like Queen. I've listened to Queen. Uh, I listen to Queen. Um, but I'm really not into looping Queen again. I've sort of been through that in large part. There's a lot of amazing music coming out that blows away Queen. Well, I don't know if blows away Queen, but compatible to Queen. Some would say some of it better than Queen, right? But Freddie Mercury is seriously amazing, right? I really like Run the Jewel. What? Run the Jewels, I recommend them. Run the Jewels, I don't know Run the Jewels. Creed 2 was an amazing film and conclusion to Rocky's story. Really, I saw Creed, the first Creed I really liked. I haven't watched Creed 2 yet. I thought about grabbing it and watching it. Okay, Marco, it's on my radar. I'm gonna grab it and watch it. I like Creed. The first one was good. And Rocky is Rocky. Rocky was good. Rocky got the juices flowing. And before Rocky, Sylvester Stone did a porno, soft porn. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> it's very soft. <laughs> just, just to see what he had done. Any statistics on classical music? I don't know. Uh, I don't have the statistics on classical. I haven't listened to classical for a while, Olivia. I used to listen to it a lot. And at some point I will again. Lately, just some music's come up. I've been looping. Uh, there's two two bands I've been looping on my long walks. I've been listening to, um, uh, oh my God, uh, Strange Brew. Uh, oh, it was the tip of my tongue. Uh, Strange Brew by Index will know. Who did Strange Brew? Strange Brew by... Uh, da, 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 oh, where's my mp3 player i've been listening to strange brew by uh, uh the blues oh, oh man oh. <laughs> strange brew no strange brew the album strange brew by the jazz uh blues musician uh, no strange blue is uh Strange Fruit is Billie Holiday. That I listen to every now and then. Uh, where's my MP3 player? My MP3 player's over there. I'm gonna grab it. I gotta read. I gotta. I gotta tell you guys who it is. It's um. Strange. Not John Lee Hooker, but uh, I gotta get it. I gotta get it for you. Hold on a second. I gotta I, I actually just plug this in so it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to uh, reread its uh, what do you call it but I'll let you know what it is as soon as it loads up again I'll 
I gotta let it refresh. Uh, listen to the song Sickle Ma. Da, 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 da. Oh man, I miss some stuff again. Nelson, Billboard. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm scrolling down. How long have we been here? I just realized you're on. We've been here for an hour and. Oh, it's 420. Happy 420, everyone. No, not strange brew by that. I'll let you know what it is, case man. Only cream comes to mind when you say strange brew does it. Cream. <laughs> I haven't listened to cream forever. I should listen to cream soon. That let me find it, and it resets every time I do it. This thing's so. This is like old school, old school. It's four gigs, and it's been with me for. Uh, Damn, Miles Davis. I can't believe a, Miles Davis's name flipped over me, right? So, uh, not strange brew, bitches brew. Just because I loop it, bitches brew, not strange brew. Uh, bitches brew by My, uh, Miles Davis, right? So I've been listening to Miles Davis and System of a Down. I start my walks with Miles Davis, and a certain way down, uh, System of a Down kicks in, and I finish my walks with System of a Down. Oh, bitches, bro. Come on, Chicho. Give me a chance. <laughs> I know. Sorry, brother. <laughs> me and names. I can't, you know, for some reason, I mix things up so much with names. But that 420. Smoke weed every day. Only if it's legal in your country. <laughs> state. Taco. What is your take on nutrition as a boxer on the side? All I eat are egg, egg oatmeal, boiled chicken, and sweet potatoes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, great album. Great album. Uh, boxer, I did a little bit of, I had a punching bag for a while, by the way, Marco, at our house. Uh, we had a big place and we had punching glove. I, anybody that thinks they're in shape, try this out. Go in front of a heavy punching bag and try to last three minutes throwing punches. By the end of three minutes, if you can last end of three minutes, you're dripping wet, right? So boxers are one of the most fit athletes in the world, right? Um, as far as boxing diet goes, uh, when I was doing a fair bit of lifting, and I'm going to get back into it again, by the way, at some point, um, it, it's going to be eggs, uh, potatoes. You need the starch to deliver the protein. And it's going to be a fair bit of protein. So protein is starch heavy, okay? And if you want to trim down, you do low salt. If you want to retain the water, and it's good to retain water, you do add the salt to retain the water, but it makes you thirsty. So when you sweat out, you need water. So you try to control the thing. But that's a good diet, Marco, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> what have you been talking about? Oh, man. we true miles davis true visionary by the way i'm listening i'm looping miles davis uh so i can load on uh, i'm going to try to pronounce this correctly Thelonious monk okay load his half his disc discography anyway so i'm gonna go from miles davis once i uh bitches brew is just i can't stop listening to it right it's just journey right it's an amazing journey but as soon as uh, I get my fill of that I'm gonna upload monk and just loop that a while as a boxer on the side all I eat is the ear <laughs> of my enemies <laughs> top fiver that's a reference to Tyson biting off the ear of uh, Hol Holder what was his name uh, I forget his name. He was a good boxer too. He was a good boxer too. No legs, but good boxer. Bitches Brew came out in 1999. Never broke 50,000 sales, 500,000 sales. The music industry, everybody. It didn't. It didn't break. Not even 500,000. Really. Pfft, one of the like serious. <laughs> the music industry, everybody. Exactly. Not Mike Tyson again. Punching stuff strains the lats a lot. High fiber. You mean 1969? 
index knows his music i sure do whoops all good monk was an influence on miles yeah i think monk was an influence on i don't know i think on all jazz music it's just like nina simone i think nina simone was an influence on everyone uh same with monk and i think anybody after miles davis miles davis was an influence on them i idolize mike tyson and aaron Moss. take it how you want mike tyson man i got full respect for tyson no anybody that trash talks tyson doesn't know poop from poop <laughs> really tyson dude the guy uh 100 respect all right monk was an uh influence on nearly every modern jazz musician fucking amazing musician yeah i've never index i've never sat and loop monk the way i have davis system nina uh john lee uh bb king uh, uh aretha franklin and some of the greats right i've never done it with monk i am looking forward to it and i'm gonna do it because of the graphic novel i picked up monk that i'm going to read as soon as i get monk's music looping in my head i'm gonna sit down and read the graphic novel so i'm building up to it can't wait like anything uh well worth experiencing it's worth taking your time for it right. tommy thomas ring a bell timmy timmy thomas i don't know who timmy thomas is respect from alaska ah. respect right back brother respect right back i'm not familiar i don't think I've never heard of one. Should I check him out? I think so, Marco. It's trippy, Ooh, chaotic. If you don't know Miles Davis, listen to Miles Davis first. Okay, they're different. Index will know more. I, you know, I've only sampled Monk, right? Uh, but I find them different than Miles Davis. But listen to Miles Davis. The intensity of that music, Monk. Layered. You also need to do the same with john joe john coltrane yeah i've never looped coltrane I've, I've i've listened but i've never looped hardcore uh i'm i looped a fair bit of the uh, old school blues some of the big mama thornton <laughs> comes to mind love big mama thornton so good so good i can't remember any of her songs or any of the lyrics and stuff but there's a period i was looping that stuff very empowering my plant list goes from animal animals house of the rising sun to mo shop to system of down to ramstein uh, and finally to the to doom ah doom bfg edition soundtrack yes. how many silverback gorillas could you find before you fall in love Ken Burns jazz should be required viewing for all music fans. Oh, really? Is documentary? Is viewing, so I'm assuming. Now I remember Amen Holyfield was his name. Yeah, Holyfield. That Tyson went Holyfield. Holyfield was a good boxer. Holyfield was a good boxer. Coltrane is fascinating because like Miles Davis, he was always evolving remaking himself and when he died in 1967 he was on a spiritual quest that is uh, palpable in his music it's incredible really so a uh, coltrane's uh what do you call it uh library is it as vast as nina simone's or john lee hooker's index i'm assuming he died in 67 so he died for fairly young i think so did he did he put out a lot of albums should we listen to it same with nina simone nina simone progression you just follow her life right so would you recommend starting coltrane from the first album he put out and just going sequentially the man that got a zero no it shouldn't so many things wrong with it 
with the Ben Burns doc. Oh, really index. Okay, I'm going to index is my our music to go person. Okay. Respect index. School me. Nice. Whoops. Haha. <laughs> caps. Well, maybe that deserved caps. I assumed index you wanted caps. He had no legs though. He had no legs. Agreed, Marco. Link the Thomas song and Discord music. Check it out sometime. Okay, we'll do top fiver. When Rocky was 60, he could move better than him. Yeah. Rocky Marciano, I'm assuming you're saying, yeah? Hopefully you're not saying Sylvester Stone, but Rocky Marciano. Yes, he basically created Impulse Records. He was their lead artist, really, okay? Would that be John Coltrane? Yeah, we're talking about John Coltrane uh, Chaos. I would recommend starting with his Miles Davis Sideman stuff, especially if you know Miles Davis already. But by 1960, he worked with Monk and then started his own quartet. Really? <laughs> 1960-64 are the golden years of Coltrane Impulse. Awesome. Thank you, Index. Marciano, Marciano, Rocky Marciano. Old school, old school, old school, old school. Very fun, very fun. <laughs> no, Stallone did a boxing movie at 60. I know. <laughs> no matter what you say you got to give a certain amount of respect to stallone he's lasted in hollywood man that that takes some doing my pleasure love talking about this stuff yeah me too love learning about the stuff index for me anyway i really like listening to nina simone feeling good because feeling good yeah her, her song feeling good oh feeling good because when i had a rough day i forgot about then listen you should listen to uh, taco she's got a song i don't know if that's it's called feeling good but the lyrics in it is feeling good feeling good because when i had a rough day i forgot about everything and just be happy also uh michelle bubble did feeling good and it was like a 60s spy theme really i don't know michelle bubble do we need an internet bill of rights to stop big tech social media censorship um do we need no um i mean bill of, bill of rights to a certain degree yes but we can't have the government central centralized controlling the companies because if we have that then we got complete totalitarianism we got absolute censorship through government exactly what's going on in egypt where they just passed a law saying that anyone that has more than five thousand followers five thousand or more followers if they disseminate anything that the government disagrees with that government thinks is misinformation or disinformation or enticing rebellion against the government then they can have their sites shut down and arrested thrown in prison and most likely in egypt you might get executed and with lots of fines right so we cannot have centralized control of the internet right we have to have rights just like rights to free speech right so in that regards if that's what you're saying uh, uh spencer i agree we should have some kind of rights where we're allowed to share whatever we want online as long as uh, we're not stealing uh and i don't mean downloading downloading is sharing as long as we're not stealing other people's contents and pushing that or as our content right if we're sharing it fine and dandy right or stealing products and selling them online if if you know what i mean like that's on the fringe right that's not the main activity of the internet the main activity of the internet is the free for flow of information p2p peer-to-peer one-on-one exactly what we're doing right now right hey chicho should i buy a powerful computer i have a mac laptop for school but i i have been looking into a uh, powerful pc any thoughts uh personally marco i would stay away from apple products i uh, our first main personal computer at home was an apple i still have it apple too right 
but Apple went dark a long time ago. I, I didn't like the totalitarian nature of their activity. Not that PCs, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Microsoft is better or whatever it is. If I knew Linux well, and if I had the editing software and like video editing and uh, graphic editing, image editing software available to me the way I do on, uh, on a PC, uh, non Apple PC, then I would go Linux, but I, I don't have that technical capabilities right now. At some point I will. Okay. When I get the funds, when I can make sure I can depend on someone to, you know, can get something done that I can't get done because I don't want to go down for extended periods and for me to learn Linux, even though I use Unix and Linux in university. Right. Um, but I would stay away from Apple. And as far as personal computers, I'm very happy with the one I bought, which is, and from what some people said, uh, I made a good choice going with this company, which is, uh, MSI, uh, computers, they're gaming laptop computers, gaming computers. Oh, wow. Taco. Thanks for that. I would assume not Chicho. Have you listened to Kendrick Lamar at all? Not really. I've heard random stuff, but I've never gone off on him. I know he's big, right? He is big, but I haven't looped him. Recommend? We need a petition to protect our memes, censorship laws, sharing, and miscellaneous. And if this fails, we should protest peacefully to show the government that we don't agree on their terms. I can agree with that. Information rights are human rights. Yeah. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar is incredible. Cool. What about people getting banned off YouTube, Twitter for political opinions? Does getting banned from big social media equal censorship? Yes, to a certain degree, because they're monopolies. They've been given monopoly powers, right? So they are being censored, right? However, it's not government censorship, it's corporate censorship. So what needs to happen is exactly what's happening right now, which is disruptive innovation coming into play, such as BitChute, such as Gab, Mines, and a whole bunch of other platforms where people can share information. The problem comes into play here. Governments have their people placed in positions of power within these monopolies such as Google and Twitter and Facebook and so on and so forth right so those are basically controlled right so if they're censoring at the same time they're also banning these other platforms right so for example let's use what happened in New Zealand okay as an example the person live streamed what he was doing on Facebook okay and what the Australian and New Zealand government did, uh, the governments did, they didn't ban Facebook from their countries because that's government run. They control it inside out, right? They banned Vote, they banned BitChute, they banned Archive, they banned uh, Gab, they banned, I don't know if they banned Mines or not, they banned all the secondary platforms where they don't have control over right so what's going on right now is serious power play between government run tech monopolies and disruptive innovation brought about because there's major censorship happening over here we have to make sure these platforms are alive and well and functioning and we're able to disseminate information through these platforms because if we allow these platforms to die, okay, then what's going to happen is when the governments come for you, no one will be here, will be allowed to hear about it. Okay. It's the poem, Miller, Norman Miller's poem, First They Came, right? That applies across the board in our societies right now. Okay. Period. So, 
the problem is the tech giants right now are not individual standing companies where online we're allowed to have competitive powers coming up to compete against them right i would like to see the same thing happen to facebook as happened to myspace i would say twitter as well i would say youtube as well even though i have a nice presence on youtube okay i'm loading more videos on bitshoot than i am on youtube i'm putting more weight in that direction okay even though i love youtube i love the community there i love what we've created there 650 plus almost 700 videos right i don't know how many years of my life since 2007 to 10 10 12 years creating content there i wouldn't mind seeing competitors come up to be challenging youtube that's to me is freedom of speech uh, you should ask someone who knows about uh, hardware and ask them about hardware parts to assemble and build uh, build a tower yeah if you're uh, marco uh, what talk uh, taco is saying here i built my uh, desktop computer for a laptop computer i bought one that was already pre-made okay uh, because the option isn't really there that's where i looked anywhere there might be if i look further now i ask people that knew their technical stuff to see what laptop to get that was within my budget right uh, so for sure but a desktop computer you can get a tower and fill it up with some of the best stuff and have a fantastic computer for around thousand to two thousand dollars desktop that'll blow away you know six eight thousand dollar laptops user ben chicho okay ask him uh yeah my friend has been getting me into him i'm a jazz person but he got me into uh into to pimp a butterfly with all the jazz he uses and yes chicho definitely recommend really okay can you know more i'll look into him super conscientious political rapper and just incredible talent really okay next i do i do someone else mentioned too that i think caseman said kendrick lamar is amazing thank you for the recommendations gang got to go eat dinner brother meal plans nice take care all thanks good luck in school marco and happy training if you're boxing have a good meal have a great meal yeah to pimp a butterfly is a masterpiece oh i gotta write this down <laughs> Lamar. Lamar. Two. Pimp. Uh, butter. Fly. Thank you. What's the difference between government censorship and corporate censorship? Here, uh, uh, Spencer, I'll give you sort of a tangential answer. Okay. Uh, private corporation controlling your data not as par problematic as centralized governments controlling your data the reason being this private corporations do not commit genocide centralized governments commit genocide we know that throughout history they might commit genocide with the help of the corporations and they have in the past look into the history of IBM right so centralized governments have used private corporations the data they've collected the way they process data to help them commit genocide but private corporations individually cannot commit genocide that's the difference between government and corporate censorship corporate censorship is censorship on their platform government censorship is censorship across the board censorship of your whole life and you could be made to disappear What X said? <laughs> X said. <laughs> give me a. Give me. What? To pimp a butterfly is a work of art. Even if you disagree with the politics, it's impossible not to enjoy it. Definitely my favorite album all time. Wow. Not that I'm, I've listened to too many. 
highly recommend it. I wrote it down. That's I'm grabbing that sucker right after the stream. Yeah, to be honest, uh, TPA. Oh, the, the to pimp a butterfly. TPAB. Just put Kendrick skill on display in so many ways. It was a huge shock for me how good it is. Oh man, you guys are pumping this up too high. It's like me pumping up big pun saying man download big puns first oh, grab big puns first album right big pun first album wow 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 big l first album wow 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 i got a feeling this is gonna be higher higher thoughts on the korean hotel spy camp scandal uh, right now right now the technology is available to that we could have cameras everywhere everywhere right be aware of that now should you act in a way where you're always under the eyes of someone always being recorded you should only care if you live in a society where your actions are punishable uh, on a grand scale right but as far as the hotel camera i believe it was a hotel room where there's a little eye thing and video either pictures were being taken of people in the bathroom or whatever it was when i go hotel rooms or any place like this public washrooms or any place like this i'm assuming that there might be eyes on me right so there's certain ways I may not behave, okay? Not because I'm afraid of them, but because I'm in a public place. I don't, uh, I don't take it for granted. In my house, okay, if someone came here, placed a camera here to watch me in my house, which is what some people are willingly doing, right, with their Alexis and smart TVs with the camera on there like right now right now I wish <laughs> let me see if I can show it to you right now I have a tape over my laptop's camera let me see if I can show it to you see if this is okay I gotta do it this way hold on a second let me open up my OBS or put the screen let me see if I can show it to you doop, 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 doop. see that right there is tape over my laptop okay the camera that you see me on this is an external hd camera thus i'm live streaming on right so i'm assuming there's tech out there that can watch me if they want to right so be aware of it You don't need to spend a thousand dollars you can spend five to eight hundred for a great or greater setup to have for gaming video work really that's it with 800 bucks you can get a fantastic desktop gaming computer now like you can tell i haven't the the computer the desktop computer i put together that i'm still doing editing on and stuff uh i did uh, i got back in 2011 so it's like eight years now i am I am in need of an upgrade, but that one cost me around fifteen hundred dollars or eighteen hundred, sixteen hundred, hundred dollars or something. And I burned the SD drive on it once. <laughs> What's the Korean hotel spy spy scandal? I think the Korean. Uh, I, I I'm assuming there's it's the one where there was a little camera and a gadget where it was filming things. What are your thoughts on uh, astrology? If you like it, you like it. Uh, I'm okay with it. For me, it's fun. Do I put a lot of weight on it? I don't know. It depends on my mood, I guess. If I'm in a playful mood uh, or not. Some people do. I know Livia, Livia loves astrology, right? Which is fine. I have friends that follow astronomical, astrological signs a lot aggressive why is this being okay I'm... okay taco for some reason you're being i'm gonna allow this but i haven't read through it so if it's not allowed 
Hopefully someone else will take care. Do you get uh, Michelle Michael Byrne to help you bench press? I don't know that person. Got a astrology silly. Depends, I guess. Placing cameras in people's houses. Oh, death note. <laughs> Do you get it? You talk some bollocks. Oh, what's what's going on? Great anime that asks some really great philosophical questions. Which anime? Death Note. Oh, Death Note. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic anime. Long. Five seasons, I think. But fantastic anime. Death Note was fun. In 1992, Yugoslavia split up into pieces. Then the main three countries went to war. Bosnia, Croatia, and Serbia. It was all external forces that forced that to happen, as far as I'm aware, right? The UN came to help, or so we thought. Uh, they came with supplies to help the help the local armies and civilians but they wanted to stay neutral by carrying guns and protecting themselves and not the civilians and local armies by during the war there was an ethnic cleansing genocide that killed more than uh, thousands to ten thousand soldiers and civilians this was a massive failure by the un and okay we miss that because there's a big line a bunch of text coming in taco uh, and it was an external war that was brought about by NATO, right? And I believe it's recognized as the first uh, NATO war, instigated war, and the first NATO war in Europe for sure that they started, which they wanted to start, which was really a move towards Russia. Agreed. Thanks, Index. For sure. Not a 10, 10 out of 10 for me, though, since I feel it got kind of boring after a certain death. Uh, Spencer, it, it, Death Note in the middle, I think, for me anyway, I think it was season three or something like this, where it got a little slow, it was jumping around too much. But towards the end, the last season was fantastic. The first two seasons were absolutely brilliant. Or it seems a bit <laughs> gentle <yes. laughs> I don't want to ban people if I don't have to yeah for sure I'm like, a little warning is good. <laughs> there's been times for index is like that doink <laughs> thanks for chilling it down a little index it's okay <laughs> fun more oranges the fun stuff well we talked a little bit about censorship privacy and surveillance all right here is the no no liqueur today no liqueur oranges today only i got tulsi this is tulsi rose tea okay and tulsi is like basil indian basil or something it's herbal tea it's really good it's it's like tangy. Uh, the rose really makes it tangy, and Tulsi has a very unique flavor to it. So it's fantastic, really good. And uh, no liqueur. I, I go through phases. Like, I haven't had, I think the last stream we did, like last week, was the last time I had a little bit of liqueur. I haven't had since then, right? So I go through phases. I don't want alcohol to be in my system always. Alcohol is a preservative. I don't want to preserve my body. I need it to be filtering through so today fruit it's sunny out spring i don't know if it was split up into seasons i watched it on netflix and all the episodes in one were in one place i like adding apples and bananas to my oatmeal oat muesli yeah fruit and muesli or oatmeal and stuff so good so good so we're coming up to two hours gang nice discussions we talked about everything including 
a little bit of censorship, privacy, and surveillance, pharmaceutical astronomy, astrology, music, right? Um, censorship for sure, uh, and a few other things, I guess. But the way we started this, let me just pop this up again. Uh, surveillance, privacy, censorship. They go hand in hand with prohibition as well, right? But for me, surveillance and privacy, two of the most important things in our society that should be on the forefront of people's tongues when they're talking about political system, economic system. And I wrote an article regarding this, my perspective on it, when it became clear what was being done with big data through governments and corporations, but mainly governments. And I titled the article, Anomalies, Prisons, and Geophysics, How Governments Use Data and How to Stop Them. It was one of the first articles I ever wrote when I started blogging. It was back in 2006. And in 2016, I did a soft-spoken reading of it, uh, a video, uh, sort of just reading with camera looking out the window with a fire being reflected and thing, right? Because I think it's important. It's, it's something that I think... Uh, I find an unfortunate majority of people in our societies are not thinking about in the Western world anyway uh, because it could lead to some dark places so that's the reason I put this uh, discussion you know I put the title of the discussion what we did and if you want to you know read that article listen to the soft spoken uh, video just do a search on their anomalies prisons and geophysics and the video is embedded in the main article uh, that you can see uh, don't want to seem like I'm uh, pestering but anime stream do you do you ask me to you Spencer remind me I just grab space dandy <laughs> okay the two seasons it's on my computer when I watch it um, I don't know when I'm gonna get to it uh, but thank you for the reminder and you're not pestering I, I ask you to do it remind me remind me uh, I love anime I love anime talk and I've promised to do it uh, and your reminders remind me to watch it and uh, right now I started planets again because someone else brought it up uh, brought up planets before in a previous stream I'm like five episodes into planets but I might stop that and uh, watch space Dandy so I can put that anime video together and then we can put a anime live stream together okay uh, thank you for bringing it up by the way oh quick question is English your native language no Spencer uh, my mother tongue what I learned at home was um, Armenian and then I learned Farsi and then I came to Canada and learned English and they tried to teach me French but uh, I was all full capacity right there were cases all over London and parts of the UK where there were cameras where privacy is a privilege not a right anymore some cameras go into hidden places yeah all philosophers should <laughs> what <the>? spell check <laughs> I came up on my <laughs> philosophers are people too I should watch planets I heard it's super underrated but really good yeah it is super underrated and it's really good it is really good and it has by the way planet has is related to one of the discussions we had during this live stream i'm going to take this anomaly thing down again Doop. okay uh, is related to one of the discussions we had in the stream which was space travel okay corporations going into space and planets is centered around uh future near future uh, relatively near future where corporations have have gone into space and they control certain parts of space and they do certain things and if you want to go into space basically you have to work for a corporation to go into space and stuff like this and then later on the thing you find out that they're exploiting certain parts of it is really good well worth Spencer if you like anime watch it somewhat underrated but I'm a math PhD student and after I graduate here's a sizable chance I might move fields to computer sci AI but I worry that 
any work I did in the field of AI could be used unethically by companies, governments, or thoughts. That is one of the problems. Uh, now, the question is, uh, there are some amazing human beings that have worked for decentralized powers that have revealed uh, what decentralized powers are doing. Bradley Manning, Snowden, um, Julian Assange was a hacker, right? And he got burned by the centralized powers, right? So he decided to create a platform where whistleblowers could come on, right? Another one, mathematician, one of my personal people that I have a tremendous amount of respect for, on the same level, if not more. Uh, I'm, anyway, it, I don't want to do comparisons, but uh, uh, the NSA mathematician, oh, I forget his name, uh, NSA mathematician, oh, what's his name? Uh, that blew the whistle on the NSA. Uh, I hope one of you guys posts his name. I forget his name. Um, yeah, anyway, you can be, you can act. No, Snowden uh, was not the mathematician guy. They were, mathematically, Snowden was nothing compared to this guy. This guy designed the NSA's surveillance program, but... Uh, can't believe I forget his name. Uh, William Beanie. Thank you very much, Case Man. I was hoping someone was going to post his name. William Beanie. He was the math mathematician that designed basically the NSA's surveillance program. The reason he blew the whistle on the NSA was because he found out that the NSA was mainly, in large part, using the surveillance program to spy on Americans. And that went against the Constitution, the Bill of Rights and all that jazz, privacy. So he came out and said, the hell with you, <laughs> blowing the whistle. The FBI, bang, they busted down his door and found him in the bathroom, taking a shower, naked, holding up a gun. And he's like, what do you guys want? The guy's got balls of steel, man. That guy got respect for Another question, Marvel with interesting stuff. Did anyone see that uh, AI widget on Google that made four part harmonies based on Sebastian? Bach? Oh, I saw the widget, I didn't click on it. I stopped clicking on Google's widgets. Uh, I don't trust Google, I don't like Google. Uh, another random, just make sure, just uh, gamer home mom, just uh, one thing uh, on it don't you're going to be forced to compromise your principles principles always have to be reevaluated just regarding working in ai computer science and working for these giants and stuff like this we always have to reevaluate our principles but once you have your principles set right it's okay to question them but make sure you don't compromise them right you will never be able to live with it again if you compromise on your principles. When I was younger, I've done it before because I was young and foolish and stupid. I would never do it now. And I, well, let me put it this way. I hope I would never compromise my principles now because I know what it would entail that you have to think about it for years and decades to come, right? So strong, hold strong, right? Another random question, are you Marvel Marvel movies for sure? I'm watching them. I don't like all of them. Some of them have been garbage, but some are good. I'm looking forward to the Bloodshot movie from Valiant. A wrong hands crazy. I'm a software engineer student and you can uh, immigrate, stay hidden, or be uh, the black sheep and follow the hidden flock. Nice. Which five individuals, alive or dead, would you choose to educate the first sentient ai um i don't think there'd be an education for the first sentient ai i think you just press a button as far as who would i choose the five people i would choose to write the program before you press the button 
and they cross their fingers AI happens or AI doesn't happen. I, I don't think we're anywhere near close to AI. Okay. I just want to add that, but William Beeney would have to be on the team. That's how much respect I have for him. The other ones I don't know. MVP case man, Leonardo. Hey Chicho, not sure how long I can stay, so I'll get it out early. Jamaican color painting in one of your first check out my comics from eBay videos. It ro uh, awesome. And someone else brought this up uh, in the last stream, and I thought they meant the the old man sitting under a tree with the white painting that my mom had done. It was smoking a hookah, right? So there's a there's a video I put out with that on there. I don't think I don't know if it's a comic. I thought it was a comic book, but I don't think so. But the one you're mentioning, it does rock. It's awesome. We bought it from, or my brother bought it from, an artist in Toronto. He had him do it for him. I believe it was a uh, what do you call it? Uh, commission piece, right? Fantastic uh, painting. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for loving it that's that stays um, what do you call it that's part of the family that'll stay with us forever uh right as long as the first we remember right fantastic piece fantastic piece i don't know the artist's name sun Tzu. fun richard dawkins isaac asimov superficially without much consideration i wouldn't include uh Richard Dawkins, Isaac Asimov, I would just feed the AI Ziggy and watch the world burn. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I am excited for AEG and I saw the Doom uh, Annihilation trailer and I um, can see that they didn't follow the plot and made uh, major changes. They made the main character not wear the original Doom. I haven't seen the Doom uh, Annihilation trailer. That must be new. There was no team, only one guy. The enemies are maybe zombies instead of demons, like the last movie. I hope the last movie was fantastic. It was brutal. Such a horrendous movie. All the Fantastic Four movies. I hope they put the movie in the movies and no one watches it because the trailer says it all really okay i gotta check it out i gotta check it out i gotta check it out fun okay gang taco in two days monday we do comic book talk so i'll be happy to talk comic books uh on the monday session more chicho do you have any favorite fiction novels uh fiction novels uh like science fiction and stuff for sure c.s lewis i don't have the three books anymore uh they're gone from my collection the ones i read but C.S. Lewis put out a adult science fiction um, series that I loved. Uh, it was called The Hidden Hidden Strength. Uh, it, the names are different, but if you do a search for C.S. Lewis trilogy, uh, adult sci-fi trilogy is fantastic. Dune is absolutely amazing. If you've never read Dune, Dune is a must read. And the Death Gate Cycle. Uh, you haven't read any C.S. Lewis? C.S. Lewis is the author I've read the most. C.S. Lewis, I love. Okay. He opened my eyes a lot in terms of logic, in terms of thinking. Okay. That trilogy is really good. It's, it's gentle sci fi. It's a great sci fi read. Okay. Uh, and Dune is amazing. Dune is a must read. And the Death Gate Cycle, I really loved. Death Gate Cycle, I found fantastic. Superman, Superman, Spooderman. What do you think about Alex Jones being banned from YouTube, Twitter, Facebook? I think it sucks. I don't think you should be banned. I think that's crazy. I think that's the road to totalitarianism. That's the death of our societies and the destruction of the internet. It's ridiculous, right? Corrupt them all, destroy the child. The Lord told me to do it. He rode through the looking glass, not so. He rode through the looking glass not so nope, i don't know okay gang monday monday at what time let me click on this 
Monday, Monday at 1 p.m. We do comic book stream, okay? Where I'm not sure if we're gonna do, I'll have everything set up to be able to list stuff on eBay. I said it, I'm gonna shoot for it. But either way, we'll do a comic book stream. I'm gonna show you what I've been reading. We can talk about comic books, movies, or whatnot. There's amazing comic book TV shows and movies out, right? Uh, and on Tuesday, we'll talk about current events at 4 p.m. Okay, there's a lot going on. Uh, I figured we'd do that as well. More politics and economics, I guess. Fun stream, fun stream. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the discussion. Great music talk, great space talk, astronomy talk. Nice talk on the censorship, privacy, surveillance. Alice in Wonderland, through the look. Alice in Wonderland, that's right. Through the looking glass, that's where I was going. What's the through the looking glass? I heard the movie's supposed to be good. The first Alice in Wonderland, not so good. The first, actually, the first 40 minutes was fantastic, and then it got bad. <laughs> okay, gang, I'll see you guys Monday. Hopefully, you can make it. And thank you, everyone, for participating. Index, thank you for taking care of business. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Okay, bye for now.